Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for mid-September 2019 and as you know it will not resonate with all Capricorns. And I always look for a positive reading but you know that doesn't always happen but we will work through it. But this is for Capricorn, full Celtic cross, mid-September 2019. In other words I put it out there in time enough for you to do something about it if you don't like the path that I'm, I'm showing you, you know. But this is for Capricorn like I said. Mid-September 2019. The energy is coming in for Capricorn. The zodiac sign. Those born, of the, those born of the zodiac sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising. Let's see what we got here. Incoming energy. Eight of Cups. Maybe you're thinking about walking away from something. Maybe you're just tired of the BS. Whatever's going on. We got a lot of energies out there. Pretty harsh. Not that you aren't used to this by now because you've been going through a lot yourself in the last uh, several years. or um, But you feel like you need to walk away from something. Maybe something's too much. Or maybe someone walked away from you. A situation that happened. And we'll, we'll find out what's going on. Subject at hand. You're carrying a heavy burden, Capricorn. What happened? Hmm? It's crossing it. A tower situation. You had a tower moment. Something come crumbling down and put a huge burden on your shoulders. Now I'm going to clarify these. When I clarify, you know it changes the story up. So, you know, stick with me. Your goal, what crowns you, you're having trouble moving on from a troubling situation. What Capricorns am I dealing with? I should call my sister. That's a Six of Swords in reverse. She's a Capricorn. I got two Capricorn sisters. Um... The foundation, someone offered you something, but you didn't like the offer. You thought it was just stagnant, you know, not for you with the Four of Cups. In the past, something come out with the moon, a secret, something you weren't expecting, something that was hidden, now comes to light or will be coming to light because we haven't hit mid-September yet, even though that's in the past position. Near future, you're going to say, I'm not giving and taking no more. I'm not going to help you anymore. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Or it could be like someone says it's to you. But a tower situation. And it really put a burden on you. And it had to do with someone was keeping something from you. Possible future outcome. And advice from the universe. Demand justice. Get justice with the justice card in the upright. May have to do a little bit of a court action for some of you. But not necessarily. i got to clarify. What is coming towards you is the King of Cups. Hmm. King of Cups is in reverse. It uh, could be someone who's like emotions aren't in check. Maybe they're upset. Maybe something happened. As we know, something did a tower. But this is the outside um, situation beyond your control. So maybe you find out something about them. Maybe they tell you something, something emotional. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do not assign um, one of the water signs to any card. Um, unless I really feel it's that, that type of energy. But usually this is someone who's really, you know, their emotions are just all muck. And it could be anything. You could be sick. They could be upset. They could be um, emotionally depressed, you know. Now, your hopes and fears. You're afraid you won't be able to untrap yourself from the situation with the Eight of Swords. You're hoping to break free from a situation possibly by the Ten of Wands. The outcome, you do take control. For some of you, you're dealing with the Aries, but not necessarily. I never hardly, you know, with the Emperor associate that with Aries because it's more someone taking control and ruling well and judging well and taking, um, you know, the bull by the horns, as they say, you know. Now let's go back to the beginning and find out what's going on with the tower situations about. You do... Uh, recuperate from this but the ten of wands in the upright the tower crossing it why you there heavy burden for capricorn coming up why you there ace of pentacles maybe you tried to help somebody or somebody tried to help you or a new beginning a new stable beginning you thought you were going to have or that you're trying to have so ten of wands in the upright tower crossing it ace of pentacles why you there in the upright as a subject in hand. And messages. Messages that could be chaotic. Travels that can, could have been chaotic with the Eight of Wands in reverse. 
you're ever having a heavy burden, maybe even deciding on something and going on with something else because you suffered a tower moment. And now you're trying to figure out what to do next. And it could be that some of you are trying to communicate with somebody and you're having trouble getting a hold of them for some reason. Now what crowns you is the Six of Swords in reverse. You're having trouble moving on from this situation. Maybe you're afraid. You're, you're not afraid. I mean, maybe you're thinking, how am I going to do this? You know, it doesn't mean that you won't because I do see you taking control later. It's just that that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, how can I get away from this situation or deal with it? So Six of Swords in reverse while you're there for Capricorn is what crowns them. What is going on? Yeah, you felt really stabbed in the back and betrayed. And you're trying to move on from it, but it's difficult. Six of Swords in reverse, Ten of Swords in the upright as what, the, what crowns Capricorn while you're there. And you have, there's that walking away. Before you're thinking about it, you know, is it coming in? You know? But your goal, or what crowns you, you haven't quite done it yet because you don't know how to go about it. Or maybe you're just, like I said, thinking on it. Everybody, when they go through this, feels like they should walk away. It's just normal. So, now as a foundation, someone may offer you something. Because that's about the Four of Cups in the Upright. Four of Cups in the Upright. Why are you there? For Capricorn. You may be rejecting something. Two want to come out and I'm going to let it. Yeah, someone's offering you something. But you're kind of like wanting to take a break. They're saying they're offering you hope, possibly, but you're like, I don't know if I want this right now. I don't want to hear what you have to say. You don't even like what they have to say. Maybe they're giving you advice and, you know, you just don't like what it is. But they're, they're offering hope, but you yourself are saying, I need to recover just a little bit. Whoops, that one's come out too. I'm going to let it. it. has to do with the Queen of Cups. Again, it's a lot like the, um, the King of Cups, but it's the feminine energy, more of the nurturer. You know, someone that's, you know, emotionally nurturing. But this one is not. But someone's offering you help with the situation. You don't know if you want to accept it. Now, in the past, you got the moon. And then the moon is in reverse. So something comes out. Something that you didn't know before. And that's possibly, you know, what caused all this situation. So the moon in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? In the past, why are you there? Six of Swords again. You're having trouble moving on from that, that, that situation, that negative situation, that negative moon energy. So the moon in reverse, Six of Swords again in reverse while you're there in the past for Capricorn. Ah, oh, that wants to come out. You're afraid a blessing didn't occur. You're afraid things won't grow or aren't fruitful. And maybe they weren't. But you find out why it isn't. In the very near future, you got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're saying, I'm not going to do any give and take. I'm not going to do that. I'll scratch your back. You scratch mine because my back never gets scratched when I help people. Or maybe you're seeking help and you feel like no one's available to help you. Six of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. I need to know why you're there. Oof, anxiety. I'm thinking you're thinking no one could help you. And your, your anxiety. But some of you probably won't help others too that have messed you over. You may feel that way. But it can go either way here. So Six of Pentacles in reverse. Ugh. Eight of Swords in the upright while you're there. For Capricorn in the very near future. You do gain control. And there was an argument. A pretty, pretty bitter one too in the near future. I didn't say was. Um, there is going to be, you know, an argument. And, and that's why there's no give and take here. And that's why everybody's having, like, anxiety issues because of this. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the justice. You may have to seek and demand justice. So the justice card, why are you there? For Capricorn. As a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. King of Cups, you may have to go again, you know, justice with the King of Cups. Seek justice, you know, tell them what you're wanting, tell them to, to fly straight. King of Cups can be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, justice in the upright. King of Cups in the upright, why you there? As a possible future outcome, advice from the universe. Knight of Cups, because you're wanting what's due to you. You're wanting what's due to you with the Knight of Cups um, and an offer. You're wanting 
the things that you were expecting, the positive things that brought, that would bring you emotional contentment. You're wanting what you're wanting. You're wanting that what was expected from this cups energy. That makes any sense. So it's telling you to seek justice to go get it, possibly. Now the outside environment is the king of cups in reverse, beyond your control. This is not you. This is the outside. So king of cups in reverse while you're there for Capricorn. Why are you there? Chariot in reverse, something came to a dead halt with the King of Cups with the Chariot in reverse. Can I get another card? Can I get another card? And the Queen of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with a passionate energy and an emotional energy that possibly came to a complete halt. You're dealing with more than one person. I'm seeing that through a lot of the signs. That things are going kind of amuck, but you take control and you're supposed to take control. Now, your hopes and fears, you got the Eight of Swords, afraid afraid to become untrapped, you know, from this situation. You're afraid that um, you won't be able to get out of whatever situation you were placed in. So the Eight of Swords in reverse while you're there for Capricorn and the hopes and fears and manifestations. The Hierophant over broken contracts or marriages or whatever it is you're involved with. It could be work, it doesn't matter. So Eight of Swords, the Hierophant in reverse while you're there. For Capricorn, the hopes and fears. I believe they are fears. You can turn that around. So you can manifest what you're wanting. Okay? Why are you there? Page of Wands. And you don't want these messages that are kind of uh, short-tempered and abrupt with the Page of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a, a fire sign or someone very young at heart. Someone who is um, doesn't have a lot of experience also. Now, in the end, you got the Emperor, and the Emperor is in the upright. The Emperor is taking control. Some of you may be going to court. You may very well go to court over this and seek justice. And it looks like you may get it, because with the justice in the upright, it's about getting your justice. So the Emperor in the upright, why you there? For Capricorn, in the very end. You're going to seek a judge or a counselor or someone who, who's in authority so you can overcome heartbreak. It also, like I said, for some of you, you could take on this energy. Even though it is um, not a Capricorn energy, it doesn't have to be. It's someone taking that emotional stance or, emo or um, practical or fiery stance. And it's also... Um, someone who could take control over a heartbreak and or a sorrowful situation. So the Emperor in the upright Three of Swords in reverse while you're there for Capricorn in the very end. Ace of Swords. Someone may actually cut something out too with the Ace of Swords in reverse and do away with it. You may have your say and not hear what someone else has to say with the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's speaking someone's truth in some an abrupt manner, which you need to do. Or someone, or you could, like I said, be judging um, against this or winning over this or taking control over a situation that had to do with the Ace of Swords. Some, to me, when the Ace of Swords, sometimes when it's in reverse, it's taking control over lies that were said and heartbreaking situations. When it's in the upright, speaking your truth, but it's, you know, pretty sharp sometimes. So it's basically trying to get that done. Let me get one more card for that. So the Emperor in the upright, Three of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse while you're there for Capricorn in the very end. You got the fight. Which one? Yeah, you're going to take control over a very unlucky situation. You may, may be getting a message or sending a message to um, a water sign. You may actually hear in the very end that, that this Whoever you're dealing with, it could be a cups energy, or like I said, someone young at heart, or someone with an emotional attachment may send you a message. Maybe they will want to say, oh, oh, you want to go to court? Oh, oh, you want to do this? Or you're going to um, go after, you know, go to your boss or whatever about a situation or whatever you're doing. They may try to send you a more positive message, even, a even though there was an argument, even like after the argument, trying to... Um, clear, you know, rectify the situation so it doesn't go any further. But it looks like you're going to be going um, seeking justice, and they may very well turn around when you make the demands or go for what you're wanting. They may not be expecting you to possibly go before a judge, uh, a boss, some, you know, any anything in authority. 
And so they may change their mind and say, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, let's talk this out. So that's a possibility there, a big possibility. Because something did go haywire, you know, uh, a tower moment definitely happened that caused you an extreme burden. And I do believe someone's going to offer you advice and you're like, I don't like what you have to offer because, you know, um, I want to I want to break from this situation. I want away from this situation. You're thinking about walking away, but, you know, from betrayal situation. But you're also thinking, how can I walk away? You know, am I able to walk away? Like I said, something came out and there's no give and take and you're feeling trapped and there were arguments and people on the outside kind of all crazy, you know, or emotional. I shouldn't say crazy. It's not a good thing to say. But uh, the chariot in reverse is sometimes about chaotic situations too on the outside. And you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened. I may have to break this contract, get away from this. And like I said, it could be anything. It could be jobs. It could be marriages. It could be anything you were doing that was considered solid that you may have to go and straighten it out pretty quickly. But it does look like you may be getting justice. Actually, it looks like you pretty much are. You know, you got to get what you're deserving, if you, you know, in a positive way. So this is your reading. I'm going to let this go, Capricorn. And um, just fight for what you're wanting. It's saying go for justice. And I do understand that, you know, Capricorns have been going through a lot. They really have. And it shows that very clearly in this card reading. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.